Number 42. Calculate the power output needed for a 950 kilogram car to climb a two degree slope at a constant 30 meters per second while encountering wind resistance and friction totaling 600 newtons. All right, so first things first, let's detail a free body diagram. All right, so I'm gonna draw my axes over here. And, well, they're not the best, but I'm looking to make the x-axis here parallel to the slope and that about does it. So let's move this axis now so it's not too cluttered. All right, let me just scoop this up. I'm gonna move it on over here, okay? So therefore, the center of mass of the car will be this particular point right here. Okay, so what's one force acting on the car? Well, it's the weight, right? The weight points straight down. Okay, so this weight right here would be the weight of the vehicle. Okay, the angle in here is two degrees, right? And we have a certain component triangle that's created, right? Here's the Y component of the weight, and then there's the X, okay? Now, since the car is on the slope and it's traveling in the positive X direction, we're concerned about all the forces in the X direction. And this is one that is in now the negative X direction, right? So uh, first, let me detail a formula that involves the weight of the vehicle, the angle, and the X component of that weight, all right? And if I'm looking at the triangle, I'm thinking about sine, right? So the sine of two degrees is equal to the opposite side, which is W sub X over the weight. Solve this baby for W sub X. And now that will be the weight multiplied by the sine of two. Okay, now this is one of the forces in the X direction that is opposing the motion of the car assuming the car is going to the right, okay? So that's one of the forces. What's another force? Well, it says wind resistance and friction total 600 newtons. So if the car is moving to the right, wind resistance and friction will be opposing the motion, therefore pointing to the left, All right? So this force is 600 newtons, okay? Now that's great. So those are really the only two forces acting on the car um, that will be opposing its motion. And since the problem said constant acceleration, what does that tell us about the forces? The forces, the net force will be zero, right? And therefore all the forces will sum to be zero. So I have these two negative forces pointing in the negative X direction. And therefore, right, there has to be some applied force that will balance that out, okay? Exactly cancel it, point in the exact opposite direction. I'll call that F sub A. Now remember, just what I had mentioned, F sub A will equal, meaning the applied force will have to equal 600 Newtons plus then, right, this particular weight multiplied by the sine of two, because that was that X component. All right, so the weight now multiplied by then the sine of two. Okay, so this is wonderful. So now what I can do is I can look over here on the right-hand side, and I notice a formula for power that relates it to the force applied multiplied by the velocity. Oh, cool, right? So why don't I, why don't I write this formula down? All right, so the power is equal to the force multiplied by the velocity. So I just found the force, right? That was 600 plus the weight, right? Which is really mg sine of two, all multiplied by the velocity. And it said that the velocity is moving at the, or the vehicle is moving at 30 meters per second. So this is times 30. So let's just throw in the weight, uh, excuse me, the mass, and we can calculate, right? So this is gonna be 600 plus 950 multiplied by 9.80 times the sine of two, all right, all multiplied by 30. And throw it into the calculator. Let's see what we get. So it's gonna be 600 plus 950 times 9.8 times the sine of two, and that all multiplied by 30. And we get about, yeah, we'll do three six figs. So it looks like it's gonna be about 2.77 times 10 raised to the fourth. All right, and that will be in watts. And that would be the final answer. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. Gotta run. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.